It's now day 24 of the 31 and 31, and do I have a weird one for you this time. I watched The Being. The Being is, well, it's basically just a monster movie. And funny thing is, is it stars Martin Landau uh, as a scientist that is inspecting, like, he's a radiologist or whatever you want to call it. Basically, he's trying to prove that there's not a whole lot of radiation from the nuclear dump site out there and and it's really odd i think the oddest thing is that this is based in ohio and it even deals with like potatoes and selling potatoes in this small town um there's a couple of things that are good about the film there's a couple of things that are kind of crappy uh one is just how the story and the pacing of everything they kind of set up a bunch of stuff and never really explore the whole thing which is really odd um the biggest thing is that they they make a kind of like a, an assumption that whatever this is is actually somebody's son but yet they don't really explore it like they do it for a second and then they're like here's michael you know michael's here or whatever it is and then you never learn anything else about it and the last like 15 minutes are spent at the, I, the potato farm out there uh chasing down the monster martin landau getting you know torn apart and this guy mort uh going and trying to stop the monster and it gets ridiculous. That part gets really, really, really ridiculous. Um, but the beginning, like, it starts off, like, guns blazing. And then it slows down. Because, like, the first scene is, like, in the town. This guy's driving a car. And then the monster attacks and rips the guy's head off. And it crashes the car. That's, like, the start of the film. It's quite interesting. And I was like, oh, my God, is this what I'm in for? And then it slows down quite a bit. A lot of it is there's something out there. No, there's not anything out there. But there's something out there. No, nobody in the town believes that there's something out there because it's all there to sell potatoes. Because they don't want all this shit going down. And then, you know, the potato, you know, selling market or whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, will dry up because there's something weird out there. And that's one of the reasons why Martin Lando's brought in. But I have a feeling more it's like he knows there's something weird there. And so he's trying to find out whatever it is because he ends up working with the cop and they end up finding things. Even even a weird dream sequence where it's like the Twilight Zone, the gremlin's on the plane and it drags Martin Landau out and Mort, he's like, no, I can't do this and lets him die. So it's really odd. The other thing is, is that once the movie ends, there's like a like epilogue type of like credit line where they tell you what every character is doing and like one character... She's a waitress in this little town, and it says, now she's waitressing in Akron, Ohio. What the hell? Why the hell do we need to know that? And then the main character goes on to be like a stuntman in L.A. or something like that. Uh, there's some really fucking hilarious parts to this, like when the mayor sees the monster for the first time, and he gets the fuck out of there. He backs up, backs through his garage, and leaves his wife and her friends to get killed by the monster. It's really freaking hilarious. Like, there's very good, like, chung, tongue and cheek. Geez, I almost said chung and cheek uh, parts to this film uh, that are really well done. Uh, even when, at the end of the movie, it more, like, celebrates by throwing his hat up in the air. It's pretty goddamn funny. Oh, the mayor also becomes the only potato farmer to ever be in the White House. Okay. So, uh, in general, I think that it's a lot of fun. It's like a good monster movie. But it does fall short. The the like I said, the last like fifteen minutes of the fight, and more every time he gets hit by the monster flies like fifty feet. It doesn't make any sense though, because while he's trying to like kill the guy, you know, he's setting up cyanide, and yet he he has gas mask for most of it, and then the last little bit, he doesn't have his gas mask anymore. But there's tons of cyanide over the place, so he should be dead, right? I mean, that's what I would think. But nonetheless, um, it's definitely an enjoyable flick. Uh, everybody seems to have a good time. I'm not a big fan of the monologue little sections either. Those are really weird that they put them in there, but it, it's a fun entry for the 3131 Totally 80s. It's, um, you know, one of those monster flicks that couldn't have been done at any other time. I, I feel like this, you know, set in period of time is a perfect time to be doing, uh, this type of monster flick. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yep. Yeah, forgot to give the rating. I'm going to give it three out of five, uh, moss monster things whatever they are
But yeah, so uh, we'll see you later tomorrow for another one of these 3131. Ciao.